All right, back into Turtle Pack today, and we're trying to get a Wolverine run. And I decided that first unit I was going to work on was the Dolphin. And the combo I had in mind that I wanted to try and modify was the Skunk Dolphin uh, synergy. Now, you've probably had this happen to you. If you've played Turtle Pack enough, you'll have gone against someone who had a level 3 Skunk and a level 2 Dolphin. And the Skunk's attack was is higher than the Dolphin's, which means it goes first reduces your biggest unit down to one health and then the dolphin with two shots is guaranteed to kill it even through melon so uh yeah it's it's fun to use pretty frustrating to go against but i realized that with the wolverine you can actually modify that combo so that you don't need the level three skunk anymore obviously getting units to level three can often be quite um frustrating and expensive uh, so the idea of being able to do something with just that uh, two level twos was quite appealing. And here I'm just using Camel because it's clearly way too strong. Um, just using it to try and uh, maintain my lives as long as possible. And I think here it's going to work out perfectly that the Dolphin basically solos the team because we snipe the spider. And Rabbit is also kind of uh, a bit overpowered, I think, given that we can freeze these apples, as you can see. Definitely been a theme in videos lately. So I'm, I'm saving the apples up so that I can start buffing the skunk as soon as I get it, because I need its attack to be higher than the dolphins when we get to the late game. And already the, having the monkey is perfect, because it means we can just keep on statting up uh, both units and the skunk will always be ahead of the dolphin. I think this time, yeah, it's going to be a tie, which is fine. So yeah, if, if you don't know, the way the Wolverine works is uh, adjacent pets, so that means in the slot to the left or to the right, deal three extra damage from their abilities. So uh, I don't think it works on Skunk, but it does work with um, all the start of battle snipers. So Dolphin, Crocodile, Leopard, Mosquito, and so on. It also works with... Um, hedgehog and badger and uh, blowfish as well but today I'm just gonna work on the start of battle because I guess they're probably the easiest ones to set up we're just trying to um, destroy as much of the opposing team in one uh, fell swoop at the start of battle um, and Wolverine definitely can help with that I think it does suffer a little bit in this pack from the fact that tiger exists so in a lot of situations, you'll just be better off putting Tiger in. Um, you know, if you put Tiger behind a Leopard, you're obviously going to do an awful lot more damage than if you uh, put Wolverine behind it. However, um, there are definitely situations, I think, where Wolverine will do more damage than Tiger. Not least because he, Tiger must go on the left-hand side. So you can actually put Wolverine on the right as well as having Tiger on the left. And actually, partly because of recording these runs, I've ended up adding something else to the website, which will be available soon, which is um, a snipe damage calculator. So it lets you choose from all the start of battle snipe pets. You can add tiger in, you can add pineapple and, um, and wolverine as well, and then see the total damage that your team is going to deal. Um, I definitely find it quite difficult just uh, eyeballing teams and, and working out how much damage they've done. So... That's a little bit of a, a cheat for myself. Uh, it's not available on the website yet, but it, it will be in the very near future. So now we have the dolphin and skunk on level two already, and I'm just freezing the chocolates here, which is gonna let me instantly get the level two cat. If we're not going for multiple crocodiles and leopards and tigers, it's gonna be very difficult to delete the opposing team at the start of battle. In fact. It's going to be impossible unless it's a three squad because the dolphin can only shoot three times. And uh, that means that it's definitely important that we need to get bigger stats onto the dolphin and the skunk to give them a chance of clearing up the survivors. So I start buffing the dolphin up. Just got to be careful to keep its attack lower than the skunks. Skunk definitely has to be one of, if not the most bought units in the pack. And so you're very likely to go against it as well. So just having the one big unit isn't uh, great. It's very likely that Skunk is also going to get skunked by the uh, opposing team. So here I find the Wolverine and I rearrange a bit. Uh, although the Skunk doesn't have any equipment, I'm just going to leave it up front for just now. Since we have four hearts, it's not that big a risk. 
and we get to two Wolverines. So this this was the, really the scenario that I was hoping for, which was um, having one on either side. But since I get the opportunity to level up and take the cow, we're going to go for um, uh, giving some stats to the, the original Wolverine and then freezing the next one for uh, the following turn. And I think you're going to see it working exactly as intended here. There, we, the, the beaver was reduced down into the range where the dolphin can instant kill it, even though we only have the level 2 skunk. And obviously you could just keep leveling the skunk and go for level 3, because then if the opposing team doesn't have melon, you're guaranteed to kill something with the first shot from the dolphin and then have more of a chance of killing something else with the next two shots. But I was trying to say, stay true to the original intent of only using a level 2 skunk. However, I'm not above going for the level 3 dolphin since that will be an extra shot boosted by the wolverines. And unfortunately, uh, when you get matched with teams like this, you know, Rabbit, I was mentioning it earlier, very, very strong. Um, they just have far too many stats for us to get through with the rest of the squad. Maybe if we had a couple of stakes on the backline units there, it would have been okay. We do get Melon onto the skunk. Um, just rolling for Wolverine and two more Dolphins. Maybe not going to get it given that we're very close to the end now. And this team looks very good, however their um, level 2 camo gets instantly deleted and that's going to mean that the Dolphin's able to trade with the backline seal because it only got a single buff from the camel. So now just look for uh, the remaining units. We do actually get the level 3 Dolphin on, uh, on uh, 9 trophies. I probably could have sold the cat there, but it's it never pays to assume you're going to win the next battle. Much better just to uh, play it safe. We were so close to getting the triple delete there. The flamingo hangs on with 2 HP, and we get the win with this variation on the classic dolphin skunk combo. However, I do also have a bonus clip, and this is showing what not to do. So here I was set up, uh, I had an even better setup here with double level 2 Wolverine, However, I'm about to buy this pizza, which is the classic autopilot mistake, and it hits the dolphin, meaning that the dolphin's attack goes above the skunk and now the combo is broken. So if you're trying to replicate this, just uh, be very careful, because now we're going to face tiger, elephant, blowfish. The elephant would have been instant killed by the dolphin, but instead it lets the blowfish um, shoot a whole bunch more times. I don't know if I would have won there for sure, but... Definitely would have had a much better chance if I deleted their biggest unit at the start of the game.